Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to subtract decimals. As you can see, there are three important things that we need to remember when subtracting decimals. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up the decimal points and the numbers being subtracted. So the decimals will need to be lined up when you subtract. Then you're going to subtract the numbers from right to left just like you normally would. Since we already know how to subtract whole numbers, you can subtract the decimals just as if you were subtracting whole numbers. And then finally, to get the right answer, you have to move the decimal point in the answer directly under the original decimal point in the problem. So the decimal points will all be lined up in the two numbers you're subtracting and in the answer. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started with some practice problems about subtracting decimals. Now, this first one gives us 7.2 minus 3.1. What I need to do first is I need to rewrite the numbers so that the decimal points are lined up. So I'm going to line up those decimal points just like this. I just rewrote 7.2 subtracted by 3.1 right under that. Then I'm going to subtract just as though they were whole numbers. So I'm going to say 2 minus 1, so that's 1, and then I'm going to say 7 minus 3, so that's 4. So now our answer is 41, but that's not right because we have to move this decimal point straight down. So we take the decimal point and we line it up and we add it to our answer. It goes in between the 4 and the 1. And our solution to this problem is going to be 4.1. Acting decimals is very similar to subtracting whole numbers, except you just have to account for the decimal point in the problem. Moving on to our second practice problem, this one gives us 8.7 minus 4.8. So again, the first step is to rewrite our decimals so that the decimal points are lined up. Then we're going to subtract from right to left just like we would whole numbers. When we subtract 7 from 8, we have to borrow from the 8 and turn the 7 into a 17. I'm going to borrow, add the 1, and make an 8 into a 7. And then I'm going to say 17 minus 8, well that's 9. And then 7 now minus 4 is 3. You can see our answer is 39, but again we have to add our decimal. So the decimal's in the middle here. It's going to move straight down in our answer. And our final answer for this decimal subtraction problem is 3.9. Finally, the third practice problem and the last one we're going to do on decimal subtraction is 6.4 minus 2.05. Again, we're going to line up the decimals. So we have 6.4 and we have 2.05. And you can see that I made sure my decimals were lined up vertically together in the problem. Now when we go to subtract this, we have a problem. We don't have a number here. We have to add a number in order to subtract. Now, if there's nothing here, you can use the number zero as a placeholder. So I'm gonna add this zero here so that I can subtract five from it. Now obviously you can't subtract five from zero, so you have to borrow. Borrow a 10 from the four, and I'm gonna make this a three. And now we have 10 minus five instead of zero minus five, which is five. And now this is a 3, so we have 3 minus 0, which is a 3, and then 6 minus 2, which is a 4. So our answer currently is 435, but we have to move our decimal down into our answer. So we're going to move it straight down, and the final solution for this decimal subtraction problem is 4.35. And if you would like to do some more practice on subtracting decimals, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of your video and you'll be taken to a short practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!